Welcome to the Multi-Billionaire Empire Framework Series. I'm going to tell you how to make a multiple billions of dollars from where you are right now. You can skip any one of these phases or start in the middle or start at the beginning and jump to the end and make this kind of money. But this is how you can do it when you don't have nothing. All right. What you're looking at is I'm going to give you the framework how to make billions of dollars from start to finish. Um, I'm going to go over the next video, what's called lateral conversions, commercial real estate lateral conversions, where you convert a motel, apartment, or a hotel into another use and generate income out of it, raise the revenue. That is it. I'm going to give you, that is one piece of the puzzle. I'm going to give you the whole picture here. Basically... When you start your business, you're going to lay out a map. I mean, it may take you an hour. I don't know. You write down everything that's possible if it's a dream business. Um, you're going to map it out, and then you're going to follow it. I mean, that's how I started my mortgage company, and it literally sold for $90 million. And I literally mapped it out on two pages. And then I got into commercial and did all this kind of stuff for the last eight or nine years. Made a lot of people... Very rich and I've done very well myself. Um, I haven't even really pressed the envelope because it, I mean, I already reached all my goals. It's kind of past that. And now it's to the point where I just want to give back and get everybody else on the same page because, well, I made a lot of money and basically wasn't a really good person for about nine or 10 years. Money does that sometimes. But anyhow, so back to the equation, back to reality, back to what works. You take your business and you're going to push it all the way to the limit and get money. And once you get the money, you're going to push it into other avenues of making real money. This is the biggest concept that everybody does not get for the most part. And people can't even get credit repair done, which is beyond me. So this is like light years in front of where that is. If you haven't got credit repair done, you're just plain stupid. But the point is credit repair credit, money, that, that's key to the puzzle. You're, you're at like, um, a pebble of sand on the beach level. Now, now you want to go to like the ocean level and become the ocean. This is it. This is how you make billions and multiple billions of dollars. This is how you generate wealth and money. And I'm going to tell you how to do it from the very beginning. So basically, pardon Pardon the setup. You're going to take your business and push money out of it and start growing and building your wealth. This is something that no one is really doing. I mean, my older clients, I have that for a long time. We've done that and keep doing it. But um, a lot of the new group I have hasn't done any of this. So you take your business. So you're going to start your core set of businesses. And everybody says, well, you got to have money to make a business, start money. No, you take your business or you take your job and you press it and you get bonuses. You get overtime, you make all the money and you start pushing it into other things. Now, if you just have basic, barely any money, you can start your core group of businesses, which I'm going to go over. And once you have a little bit of money from that, or you can start with no money and start out on a single family equation which on the single family household equation to get money, you could start renting your room. Or if you have 20,000 bucks, you'd get a house and you'd rent to own it. You put, put it up for sale, uh, rent to own. And the reason you're going to do that is because people are going to give you like 5,000, 10,000, maybe 20,000 down payment. And once they put the down payment down, they're going to be in the property for like, you know, two or three years. Most of them default, which you want them to. Then you get the property back and they fixed up the property. Now, the other single families that are, you have $20,000 for, you're going to buy them and you're going to make them for assisted living or uh, rent out the rooms for like Alzheimer's patients, which they get like 5,000 bucks a room. You just put a nurse in there 24 seven or two nurses, one at night, one in the daytime and they switch, whatever. That's 5,000 bucks a room average single family resident home gets like $25,000 net income a month with, you know, four or five rooms. Minus your expenses. 
So you could do that for Alzheimer's or just straight up retirement people. They get like two to three thousand. You provide a nurse, it's all good to go. The last piece of the puzzle on uh which would be a lateral conversion on a single family unit would be changing a you know, three or four bedroom house or five bedroom house into a two unit. Okay, so that's single families. You don't want to do a whole lot of those. But, I mean, if you do have money and that's all you have is 20 grand, you do that. You do several rent-to-owns. And that all adds up to money. You're going to start your core businesses. Once you get your core businesses going and the money generated from that, you're going to take the every, I don't know, hundred to 200000 you're going to buy apartments, motels. And then once you get a little bit more money, or at the same time, because these are all relatively easy to get into, shopping malls and i'm going to go into great detail why you're going to get in a shopping mall okay after you have your shopping malls making the money you're going to start making more money because you got your core businesses running and you're going to be making five hundred thousand dollar increments after that once you have five hundred thousand dollar increments which i can give you credit to do that which won't even take very long so you don't even have to have all this stuff going. We could have this going. Then I can get you in apartments and hotels at $20 million and up. And pulling out $1 to $5 million cash. And keep doing those and get those things on uh, management. And change revenues and keep them going and make tons more money. Now, back to your core businesses. This is back to square one. Okay, so we know what the puzzle this is called the push you're pushing your money from one place to the next this is what you call going broke you're making money but you just have enough to cover your bills and you push it into other things so you get your core businesses what are what is core businesses mean well you start your business because everybody says i don't know what to do for business so i'm telling you right now here's how you do it you get your business or your cash flow going okay now if you don't know what to do for starting a business basically you're, if you don't have a business, this is what you're going to start. You're going to start your your normal, basic type businesses. And that's going to be like easy stuff to start. Services type businesses. You're going to talk about like dry cleaning, um, or some things to take a little bit of money. But you got to get a manager to run things. So you're going to do these businesses. Say you have like 10000 This These are going to take maybe 10000 to start. You get a good manager. You put them on salary. You manage, manage them a little bit. You put them in control of the hiring and everything. You give them the goals and the way to set up. And the type of businesses you're going to set up is going to be, uh, it could be like car title loans, a gun shop, hair salon, dry cleaning, uh, restaurant, temporary service, liquor store, grocery or retail facility type thing and get all your basic standard businesses going with a manager and you have cash to do it so once you have that going it could be any standard business it doesn't have to be like you don't have to break your brain on all this stuff to do this i mean it, it could be like a doggy daycare it could be um basic business Accounting, dry cleaning, uh, well, it could be a laundromat, hair salon, a car, car lot, if that costs a little bit more cash, but you get your basic services business, nails, the temporary service, service a staffing agency, which is about the same thing, home cleaning, liquor store, a restaurant, these things. So once you have those things working and everything, you're going to start an accounting firm, a law firm, and like medical staffing or medical related firm. These may take a little bit of money. You're going to hire a manager and you're going to have him hire others work to work for him, under him, and you're going to give him a bonus, a good commission on all the people that work for him, under him, working for you. And that's going to be the accounting they're going to be able to do your taxes. The lawyer is going to be able to hire real estate or be a real estate lawyer. You want to get probably younger younger lawyers that are really ap have an avaricious appetite and they're ready to go and make a name for themselves. But you're going to give them like a free place to work, nice setup, and 
let them hire the partners and everybody else below them. Same with the county. Same with the medical, which I'll get into more details on that. So when you have that, you have your basic core businesses. So every three businesses of, of the core basic businesses, which it could be, you could start out with cleaning houses in the daytime. You have a crew and then you have uh, that different crew that cleans offices at night. Uh, you got your whatever. It could be a, anything. Um just your basic stuff, a salon or or uh, any basic normal core business. Once you have three or four of those three going, you're going to start up the accounting because that's going to give you enough money to hire the main accountant and that's going to give you enough money to hire the main attorney. You're going to have all these going. Once you have that going, you're going to take the money into the commercial real estate in apartments and motels, okay? And then... A little further on down the road, you can have the 500,000 pull out departments and hotels. I'm going to tell you how to make each one of these work. And I'm going to tell you what you do after this. Once you have your your business going and your core business is going, it could even be a, a spa. It could be a gym. It could be anything. Just your basic, normal core businesses. Then you go into a little bit of barrier entry level businesses, which is accounting, law firm, and medical staffing. Or if you want to get in uh, nurses, RPN. LPNs and RNs and all that stuff for home health and you get one to run a home health agency and they go to each everybody's house and do the home health stuff so you got your three specialty businesses okay you got your core business and you got your real estate going on the side with management you got your single families maybe if you start out at that equation you have money going coming in from this you're buying a shopping mall so, you're going to funnel all your core businesses into these C-class shopping malls and then fill it up. So, they're going to work there. It's going to be cheaper rent. It's easier to manage. You got the whole thing. Once you have that filled up, because it's a C-class, you're going to you know upgrade it a little bit. It's going to start generating money. You're going to look for an anchor tenant or a flag tenant like a Walmart grocery store, which they kind of pulled out, but like a Walmart grocery store type, a name brand trophy flag tenant it could be a petco it could be um yeah maybe a dairy queen or something that is um i don't know costco a whole foods a walmart or something of that nature that is an anchor like fortune 500 company and you're going to attract them and you're going to tell them hey i'm going to redo the whole mall and if you give me a contract for like 10 years and the contract's going to be low compared to other places, but it's going to be so much money that you can redo the whole mall. And when you redo the whole mall, you take all of your, your staff and all your businesses out of there and you put them back into another C class mall and you keep repeating that process. Now, on the apartments and hotels on how to convert them, I'll go over that into a whole other video. Now, while you're doing this at the same time, you have a key manager. You might have, uh, see, this is why families get rich, because they do this and they delegate it to people they trust. So, if you have a key operating general manager, he's going to oversee all this. He's going to know your plan. So, while this is going, say we're just at the first level here, while this is going, you start your core businesses. For every three businesses you start, you're going to start this. So once you have down to here, these three levels, about every time you get another 200 to 400K, you're going to go into buying businesses. Now, everybody advertises on their net and all these other competitors of mine and say, oh, teach you how to buy business and all this bullshit. They don't have a plan. They don't know what the hell works. I'm telling you what works and how things work. So every 200 grand, you're going in apartments. At the same time, you're going to take 200 grand or 400 grand and you're going to buy a business. Now, I'm going to go over the details about how the apartments and motels and hotels are going to work and make multiple millions and billions of dollars off of that. The way it's going to work, it's going to blow out the competition and how it's going to succeed. Now, I'm going to do that for the businesses. I'm going to start that right now. So, once you get two to 400000 you're going to buy a business. What kind of business are you going to buy? Because there's millions of them out there and everybody's trying to say they want to sell you business. This is what you're going to buy. Barrier entry level businesses. That would be like a vet, a dentist, 
chiropractor and like a physical therapist. Office slash hospital medical type related thing. Okay. Now, the price you're going to pay for these is you're going to find one of these guys that have been in business for like 20 years and you're going to buy their book of business and their business and their location all for two to four hundred thousand. Probably for the whole thing, two to four hundred thousand for the whole thing. That's it. Cash. Now, I could finance that or you have two hundred thousand. If, we, if we're talking financing this stuff, commercial real estate, I already told you guys, hey, we could basically get in no money down. And this uh basically financing you for two to four hundred thousand on any of these is easy so you wouldn't even have to have 200 grand now you could pull that off with like freaking 10 grand and i could get you the loan no problem now you could uh kick it out after that into franchises and all that stuff but i usually don't do that because you don't want to pay the franchise overhead and it doesn't really matter so now, how are you going to get these businesses to be better than everybody else's businesses? And how are you going to make money? This is what you're going to do. I'm going to tell you right now. The reason why you're going to do this is you're going to add some things to your equation. Like, first of all, everything's going to go 24 hours. Okay. So you have money coming in day and night. And I'm going to explain that in a minute. And then you're going to specialize And well, how we're going to do the rest? You're going to specialize a little bit more, and I'm going to explain that in a second. I want to make sure I have this because I just wrote all this stuff stuff up in about a minute ago. All right, so here we go. Okay, everything's going to overlap. You're going to have constant growth. And every business you do is going to be, you're going to streamline and perfect it. Okay. That goes for your business right now, what you're doing. You want to kick it in gear big time. So if you're working like normal hours, you better kick up the hours and put in the time and get the money and put it in the stuff that needs to make money because this is how you're going to do it. So all these are going to go to 24 hours. The vet, the dentist, the chiro, physical therapist, it's going to be emergency. You're going to have an emergency facet to every one of these. It's going to be 24 hours and that means cash, big money. Emergency for dogs, cats, you know, that's huge money. Dentists, 24 hours. Chiropractors and physical therapists, 24 hours. Emergencies, trust me, people pay. People pay for dental stuff all the time. It's going to be like a minor emergency clinic for the dentist or full full dentistry for emergencies uh, and or contract out to the hospital. And chiropractors, same thing. May not be as much business, physical therapists, it can be emergency. So now you have that. Now, what else is going to bring these in more money? You bought them at a decent price because they're older guys that wanted to get out of the business because they've been doing it 20 or 30 years. You gave them the cash. Now you got in low and now you're maximizing the money like you're going to do on every single thing. And that's how you can make a lot of money. That's why you get rich because you do everything you can with what you have and you can't tell me you don't have money and I can't get you money and you can't do anything right now. This is how you make money right now. So you're going to specialize each one of those. So the vet, veterinarian, what does a veterinarian do? How do you specialize a veterinary clinic? You're going to do 
daycare. Doggy daycare is huge. That's making uh, big money. Boarding, you board it. You're going to add to the facility, make it doggy friendly, like a dog pet resort. You throw a little extra area on there and make it nice customer friendly. Dog dog things to play on dog park cat stuff all that stuff you cater to it maybe you trick it out a bit advertise some you got do doggy daycare then you got the 24 hour spec you're going to do a pet shop pet supply store and then you're going to do um i don't know you can do specialist like um specialize in Cancer, specializing, well, cancer's huge for dogs and cats and things. That's a cancer specialist. The dentist, you're going to specialize. You're going to do like maxophilo, max, maxiofacial surgery, specialize in that. Root canals, that's huge money. Um, also, yeah, maxiofacial root canals and then cosmetic teeth. Dentists make bank anyways. Now you own your own dentist company, which has multiple dentists, and you have a facility that grows, and you end up getting like 5, 10, 20 dentists, 5, 10, 20 vets, 5, 10, 20 chiropractors, 5, 10, 20 physical therapists. All these locations that you got into just expanded and go into C, from C-class buildings to A buildings with like, you know, 20, 30,000 square feet medical complexes. Easy to get money, easy to get loans, and they make bank. And your competition can't even come in because they can't do that and they're not smart enough and they're not going to put up a shop next to you. And even if they did, you're going to put them out of business because you're already doing this specialized stuff and you're blowing it out of the water and you're making bank. All this bank is transferring over here to this part of the equation. Motels, hotels, and every hotel you get is pulling out one to five million. That goes back into more hotels, more apartments. Boom, boom, boom. And the whole thing is kicking ass and you're making a shitload of money. And you got a general manager overseeing the whole thing. He knows your thing. You have, he, he's on the same page and you're kicking it. And you have all your employees working extra hours like 40 to 100 hours because you're overpaying them by bonuses, commission, and you're giving them a type of profit share and you got to motivate it out the ass and you have the culture for your business to bang and it keeps growing. And you take the smart ones out of the employees and you make them managers and you tell them, hey, if you're a manager, you know what? I'm going to promote you to, I'm going to teach all of you guys to be managers. And if you're good, I'm going to promote you to run your own facility and set it up. So you take your best baddest ass employees from all these core businesses and the chiropractors and you get this you take your baddest ass person that's a manager he's running your operation underneath your general manager which may rotate to the best guy out of all these people and that person get this this is where your fun comes in that person this kick-ass dude that ran your shit so well you kick him out and you say now that you're general manager you manage all my shit guess what you get to do You'd get to take your shit, all this shit, and you go to the next city. And you know how many cities there are? There's like 20 major cities, and boom, they duplicate the same fucking thing in another city. That's millions and billions of dollars just on this little piece of the puzzle. Now, back to the chiropractor. How are you going to specialize that and 24 hours? You're going to go cosmetic, of course, which is Botox, um, Whole Foods, and that type of stuff physical therapist and well i forgot you got to have a doctor in here a regular doctor general practitioner doctor that is the last key to the puzzle because th that's all going to filter back into the physical therapist which is the botox whole foods that type of analysis now on the doctor you got a young guy well, you got you got an older guy. You bought you bought all these older businesses that have established clients, and you put a young doctor in there to hire other doctors. That's going to build this corporation up, build this business up. You're going to do minor emergency, twenty four hours. You just double the income easily, and you hired a giant staff. Now you're going to specialize into um, X rays, MRI, dialysis, and all these. Dentist, dentist, chiropractor, physical therapist, and the doctor all is going to specialize one more time into like child and pediatrics. 
So you have 24 hours, your specialist in child pediatrics, and your specialist in each little level here. So you have that. All these businesses overlap, specialized, and 24 hours, and they're on constant growth mode, and you're constantly streamlining them and perfecting them. That's how you keep running back through your businesses, and you keep tweaking everything out, and you keep maximizing it. That's how Amazon works. That's how everything works. That's how everything came about. That's how Rockefeller started. That's how Elon Musk does it. And that's how Berkshire Hathaway runs. All these. The one thing I have to catch you up to speed on is the lateral conversions on the apartments, motels, and the hotels. So, you have your core businesses all funneling all this money into here kicking over into the commercial real estate, and now you sent them all over the country. So you're nationwide. Nationwide with all your businesses kicking ass. That could be in the story. I guarantee this would be billions of dollars right here, just off the apartments and hotels and everything else. Now, this is your business, starting core businesses, starting barrier entry businesses, the basic ones, accounting, lawyer, and medical, because you got to have your own account your own lawyer, and your own accountant, and medical. Your, then you buy your businesses every 200000 you get, your vet, your dentist, your chiropractor, your physical therapist, your doctor, and you got all this stuff going, and you got them into the shopping malls, and you're kicking it out with the new anchor tenant because you have it full, rents are good, you already not make the place nicer, and you're soliciting bigger companies that have Fortune 500 want to go there, so that's going, that's going. The only thing left is you're going to buy a bank. Now, you got your accountant done, your lawyer done, your bank done. Guess what's next? Boom. Private equity. So, now we're changing probably multi-millions into billions. Probably billions already into multiple billions. Now, what are you going to do in private equity? Well, you could do the standard real estate stuff like everybody else. If you wanted to do that, do that or... We'll set up new companies, multi-billion dollar companies. Now, if I was just doing this again and just wanted to have money out, out my ears, and I already got good a lot of money. I just really kind of got, I really overdid it. But anyway, so if I were you, I would set up the private equity firms to fund me on these things. This is what would be the billions to multiple billions. Now, your first large business, you're going to take all this money and let it, this is all running on its own because you have management and everything. The first business you would get into would be like augmented reality, medical extended life. There's got companies out that they're doing all kinds of research and everything pretty soon with all the, the gadgets for diagnosis and things. Um, you'll be able to monitor and self-diagnose yourself within like every every minute, every 30 seconds. And it will already give you anti-aging and other things. And they're already looking at that. And it will be, it will be a company and you can make that company. You just hire the right people you get the research and boom. Augmented reality is huge. Then the next company I would set up would be autonomous, autonomous assisted drone services. That company would be a multi-billion dollar company. And what you would do is you do delivery. You would do delivery like for, well, products and stuff. Then you would do like uh, trucking. Um, well, the transport, the trucking. And then you would have um, a security portion of it that would run over everything. Then you you got augmented reality. You got your medical extension company. You got your autonomous assisted drone, which would mean it's autonomous, but you have a control center that oversees your drones and actually drives the trucks. So you have one run drone driver for basically five or ten trucks. That it's on autopilot, but you have a driver based. You have a, a a center that is in control running the thing. So it's not completely autonomous. It's autonomous assisted. Nobody has that. That's hot. That'd be huge. So you got your transporter product, you got your trucking. And then the next one would be like a inner city hyper rail, which would go over all of the standard roads the way it is on tracks or a track. 
and deliver people back and forth. Now that that could be a company. And then your last company, each one of these is going to be you set up as an IPO or private equity. You're going to only own 20%, maybe 30 if you're lucky. But you're talking if you did IPO or if you got private equity, equity right out the gate, you got your first four levels of funding staged and you got your your core investor set up, which would be easy. You're talking, you just walked away with probably, I don't know, easy 20 billion, probably easy, easy. So the last one would be a robotics company for uh, manufacturing, medical lasers, security, and construction of homes, robotics doing all that, robotics constructing all kinds of stuff. You'd have those, you'd have all the money, you'd have the backing, you could even stay private. If you pulled all this stuff off, well, you can, and you will, and it's easy. Because who the heck can't start, like, a core business? Who can't start? You can't start a, a cleaning company with three people cleaning the houses. Well, then, what's next? You go to offices. You get three more people cleaning offices at night. That's 24 hours a day running. You get all your businesses running 24 hours a day. Your standard core business is dry cleaning, you know, uh, accounting, lawyer, medical, everything goes 24 hours. Then you expand that into other cities. You kick it all over into hotels and boom, that's it. That's the model. This is called the Billionaire Empire Framework Series. Your business, start your core business services. You start your barrier entry level business, accounting, lawyer, medical, because you need them and that's going to help you out. Then you you're going to buy a business for every two to 400,000. Your barrier, real barrier entry, licensed level, vet, dentist, chiro, physical therapist, doctor. Well, you, know, you can specialize in the, you know, MRI, dialysis, x-ray, cancer. And you got each one of these specialized in the child and pediatrics. So that's another level of specialty. So you're talking. And each one of these is hiring five to 10 to 20 people each. Specialist that's banging money, kicking out over here, and you're going back down there. Boom. Now, okay, so I guess since we're in the mood, we'll go over the lateral conversion on the hotel. So, hotels, motels, and apartments. Lateral conversion basically got lateral lateral conversion term from Trump's book of real estate back in 2005 and it is called lateral conversion page 216 it says basically to convert a property for another use sometimes you can even get benefits from the munis municipalities for taxes and other things credits for doing this this is where i kind of got the idea but he was saying how do you take a, a apartment and change it into like condos and rent out each individual unit that's great so you could take that a step larger you take uh you sell each individual unit or you take it take apartment and sell each individual unit or you could do the reverse you take apartments and well you you could do rent to own for each individual unit and then you'd raise the price on the market value if you did that as in the single family when you rent to own a house the trick is why you get the you get the huge down payment of like 25 to well, five, ten, twenty thousand, whatever they can do, even if it's a thousand or two thousand, or if the guy has to give you a Harley, that means he's not going to tear it up and he's going to improve the property. Now, the kicker is when you do that, you're selling the house for market value of a normal house is a hundred thousand. So you'd sell him as a favor, like the house for 150,000 plus you got the down payment. So you got a higher profit on the end. You got a higher profit in the middle and he fixes up the house. And if he defaults, you win ahead of time. So you do that same thing, 25% more on each individual unit on the apartment. That's one way, or you could set it up as a college apartments depends on each apartment complex, but I'm going to go over why you set it up with a larger social aspect. When you do that, you can make the room smaller in a bigger social area, which is kind of a hot trend. And you would allow food and entertainment. You do like, like ideally singles professionals and you tweak it out to where they're happy and all that stuff. Now, if you want to go to the next level on a college house, college house, I say setup, college apartment, dorm, not necessarily dorm, but a smaller 
unit with nicer facility and a larger, nicer social area. Now, if you wanted to really tweak that out, like if you're in California, you'd get specific type of people to in, live in each apartment complex and cater to that. So like one, you might have a bunch of medical people. Another, you might have a bunch of tech people. Another one, you might have a bunch of business people. So if this was the tech people apartment complex and you'd say, hey, we want tech people. We give you a little special rent and all this shit because you're tech people. I'm going to give you all this nicer, nicer common area, a pool, hot tub, business setup, and a group business incubation area in the area where everybody from this apartment complex can go in there and convert their ideas into reality and they all sit around when they're in there drinking their coffee and all this stuff talking about the tech business and all the shit they do and their work and the computers and stuff and they all learned out of college right out of school they're smart and they're ready to go they're all together and you're paying for all this shit and they're sitting there brainstorming of the next tech company And you tell them, hey, for everybody that starts the great idea in the tech business, I will fund you 100%. And I will take you over here and I'll kick you into luxury ass house of like five to ten million dollars or one million. Depends how good they are. And then I'll put them in each room of there room there and then build out that company that whole tech company and it just goes off the chart and set it up to ipo and you go all over the place that's how you get rich you take the brains and the people you make it work for you and then you funnel it into the right area that is a system people make money off of systems if you don't have a system and you don't have any net worth and you don't have any money going on anything that's making money and you can't even do credit repair you're just fucking retarded because there's so many millions and billions of dollars to make right now it's the best economy of the world. You, you're just missing out. And your brain doesn't work. You get your brain to work. Your money's going to work. You get in shape. You focus. You get your brain tweaked out. You start studying and you start going. Now, that's just one equation. So you do that with tech. You do that with medical people. And they come up with the next big medical company. And you could do that with business people. And they start out with the new next business thing and you could assist them and guide them or you could just be an angel investor and give them money and sponsor all their businesses and give them all the cash and be part owner or half owner third third percent owner whatever depends how good it is that's how you tweak that out college style that's what we'll call it but it's really specialist style now you got your apartments you could change into office condos which you sell out each individual unit if it's facing the road and they could go to retail or regular office, or you could take each individual unit, put a staff nurse on the whole thing, kind of like the medical complex. That's super hot. That would be like assistant living or a type of retirement thing that makes your apartment go off the chart. Again, you just double the money on everything you've touched. You're double, triple and quadruple in the money. Okay. So another aspect of apartment is, Um, you could turn it all into like, well, a retail space. If it's facing the road, each individual unit, you could rip out the front of it and put in glass and a anchor uh, sign in the front and, you know, have two levels and you got retail spaces. That's where you could fill in your office core businesses in there, like hair salon, nails, tanning, um, staffing services, uh, things like that would be in that retail deal so that's another aspect of it if you just have the basic standard old rent apartment and you don't know what to do with it this is what you would do you'd add storage units which cost more money or add actual storage unit facility or storage units that cost more garages and then you'd specialize each of the apartments or you have a little bit extra cash one may have a kitchen with like a flat top grill kick ass one may specialize in a huge bathroom, giant tub, be really kick ass. Another could have a giant balcony. You upsell each each other one, or you got your common ones, and you try and get a higher class of people. You do the roof, you make it a patio, you put in some other retail aspects of it. You could put on cell phone tower, generates money, all while raising rents and extended contracts because they're happy and it's better, and you have just tripled, quadrupled the money of this apartment. Then... You got your cell phone tire, you want to do more retail, you could do uh, the laundry, the dry cleaning aspect of it, and some of the people at work, they want to get a little discount, or you want to have them work in these places, you could set up a, a little grocery store um, in between the areas where the grass is, you could sell 
or get somebody to put buy the uh, little planters of like 20 cents a planter, planting all the flowers, sell each one of those flowers for 10 bucks a plant, like a greenhouse type of thing, but you wouldn't even need a greenhouse. A car wash, ATM, and of course coffee if you're doing the rooftop conversion. Now, that's just basic retard stuff for apartments. Now, a repo, uh, apartment in a, you know, a C apartment, you could do this, transform it into a B or A. Or you could get, you know, nice location and do that as well. But um, that's how you convert an apartment or a motel. That is called lateral conversion. Trump... Trump did uh, a lot of this stuff with condos and these things like that, but it, but it was like way back then. I'm sure he, he would probably come up with the same stuff now, but it's taking what you have, specializing it, and expanding it and growing. That is how you make money. This is the language of money. Money is made with the way you do things. You can be an idiot born in a rich family and still get rich if they didn't give you no money because your brain knows the language of money it is programmed to see money and how you can make money. Everybody else, you can't get your credit repair done. You're programmed to be retarded and stupid. So you got to stop your mental programming. And in order to stop your mental programming, you have to stop saying things. I'm broke. I can't make this. I can't do this. I can't afford credit repair, which I don't give a shit. If you have good credit, come to me. Then we go do this. I'm just saying that's like the little pebble on the beach compared to the whole beach and the ocean of what you can have. You already have that. You have that in your brain. You have the ability to do that right now. You're just not sitting your ass down and have the discipline to put your brain on something that works and makes money and focus and think about it and then do this. This all took like 15 minutes. Uh, well, maybe an hour, big deal. But if you actually do this, you could rent out your room, start your single families, start with your your uh, commercial real estate with your small apartments and hotels. You can get a small apartment, uh, three to four unit for like 100000 to 500000 And in my previous video, I just showed you where to buy those at with seller financing, off market or auction. You could go online, there's auctions or look for, um, if you're going to do the, um, the uh, single families, you would do the HUD homes and the foreclosures or the auctions online because they're all motivated sellers and they got to sell them. And you do the rent owns and then you do the rooms, rent the rooms out with for the specialty for assisted living and all that kind of stuff. So that's how you do your apartments or your t t hotels. Hotels, when you buy those, that's a whole other video, but I'll do that. But this gets you from zero to at least millions. And if you do this equation and you kick all your best people out to other cities and you duplicate the same thing and you go, go across nationwide, you're going to make tons of money. Now, once you get the hotels and motels and the strip malls going, every piece of the puzzle is falling into place. You want to go into private equity? I'm just saying these are hot fields, super hot. Um, there's also, um, well, there's even more hotter industries. Uh, I mean, there's other hotter businesses. I mean, you could do just different super type um, private equity developments or or companies or businesses. I'm just saying this is the framework of how you make millions and billions of dollars because you take what you have, you make some money and you start a business. You start three businesses and then you get a barrier entry level service business. You get that going and you buy a business, but you buy a real business that has like no competition at a good price and it has a book of business with it. Then you get in your commercial real estate. You have all three of these things going not to mention what you have money on the side and other savings and assets kicking out doing dividends. And you have this, and then you do 24 hours, you specialize, and then you specialize even again with children and pediatrics, and you specialize even as further down as you can, and you go to with each individual manager hiring more people that's going to do the same thing, and you train everybody as a manager 
and you pick the best ones to be the managers and then you kick them out to the other cities and boom, 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 boom. And when you go to set up your location at the next city, you go to Mr. Landlord and you say, hey, as you've already trained your manager, you've trained him. And as you've set up all your locations, when you did get this, if you were to get a place, you get the, if you don't have money for the mo for the shopping mall yet and you got to get rent, you're going to get free rent for three months on a five year contract and you're going to get free. You're going to get a contract for the computers, a contract for the equipment and all these things the first three months. So you've already trained your manager to do that. When he goes to other cities, going to do that. Then he takes his money while you're doing this. Your general manager is going to oversight all this stuff for you and he's going to go there and help you set up another shopping mall and do the whole thing in another city and then when you got all this banging that's easily a billion dollars you're going to go into private equity private equity is multiple hotels multiple mixed use office buildings or tech companies or things like that big money and i have access to getting you any of this stuff you want you just have to have the brain and Get the credit repaired and get your business banging and start kicking the money over, getting the credit, getting the leverage, and then start doing this stuff and start looking for what you want to buy. You want to get, you want to find your, your accountant. I got to get an accountant, but you're going to keep counting, attorney, all this stuff and start doing it. That's, that is the framework for billion dollars. So I'm glad you made it through this whole video because this is what your brain needs to be on. This stuff. One piece of puzzle at a time. One brick at a time. One brick at a time adds up to millions and billions of dollars. Right there.